I'm your host, David Jefferson Jr. And as always, we're glad to have you with us and we're glad that you've joined the Education Now. I'm your host, David Jefferson Jr. And today we have Nasi Gifted who serves as the principal of Malcolm X Shabazz High School. Um, and for those of you who do not know, Malcolm X Shabazz High School is? Malcolm X Shabazz High School is named after El Haj Malik Shabazz, um, but it uh, rests in the South Ward of Newark, New Jersey. That is correct. And we are taping this on May 16th, 2020. Um, the situation of the COVID-19 pandemic has struck our world with a blind side, um, shifting its regularity and life as we know it and our overall existence has changed and is ever changing to say the least. And there's a lot going on. Um, and so we're excited to have a talented, a talented man, a man I call a Renaissance man um, today on the show. And it is an honor to have him on the show. And we want to get to know a little bit more about you, Nasid. Can you share with us? Um, and I'm going to start here. I want to know about your background. How did you find your way to education? Ooh, uh, I have a unique origin story. Um, and and my, my pathway to education is slightly different than those individuals uh, because I was born, raised, and educated in Newark. Um, always felt the need to give back to the city that uh, bred me. Um, but my pathway comes through engineering. So I worked in uh, uh, electrical engineering for a while. I had a very unique experience in high school uh, where I was one out of 10 individuals who was a part of this uh, robotics team. Uh, and I actually got an opportunity to work with at t Bell Labs. And the unique thing about this experience is, was that um, back in the early 90s, um, this was the, one of the first opportunities that the robotics program actually came to Newark. And this was the inception of the first uh, competition in um, the U.S. or the nation. And with that, you know, being one out of 10, I actually had an opportunity to work with an uh, engineer, uh, a number of engineers, but in particular, with this one engineer that, um, that, that I favored that looked like me. And from that point on, um, I, I told myself I, I wanted to be an engineer. He actually was an electrical engineer. Um, so fast forward, uh, you know, I set myself on a pathway to, you know, become an engineer. I um, graduated from science high school. I go to NGIT where I graduated with my bachelor's in engineering. But during that time, I always, always worked with the community to uh, help raise the next generation of technology leaders. And that's always been my plight. Um, so I've 